Golpuriya is a group of regional Indo-Aryan dialects spoken in the present-day Dubri, Golpara, Kakraihar and Bongagone districts of the erstwhile undivided Golpara district of Assam, India. It is prevalent with the Indo-Aryan Kamrupi dialects to its east and North Bengali dialects to its west, amidst a number of Tibeto-Burman speech communities. The basic characteristic of the Golpuriya dialect is that it is a composite one into which words of different concerns and regions have been amalgamated. There are three identified dialects in this group, one Eastern, two Western and three Intermediate. Scholars from Assam associate these dialects with the Assamese language. Chatterjee 1926 classifies Western Golpuriya with the North Bengali dialects, and Tulman 2006 classes all Golpuriya dialects, including Eastern Golpuriya Bongagone, in Kamadapuri lects. Region The Golpara region is the westernmost part of Brahmaputra Valley. It is bounded in north by Bhutan, on the east by Kamrup region, on the south by Garo Hills of Meghalaya and on the west by Kuch Behar district, Jalpaiguri district of West Bengal and Rangpur district of Bangladesh. The region has never been a separate political entity. In ancient times it was included Pragjyotisha of Ramayana, Mahabharata and Puranas. Subsequently, region formed a part of Kamarupa kingdom. The Ratnapatha division of Kamarupa kingdom included the Golpara region, later region became a part of the Kamata kingdom and later a part of Kach Haho, the domain of Ragudeva and Parikshit Narayana, from 1581 to about 1615, when the Mughals took control over the region and constituted a Sarkar, the British received this region as the Diwani of Bengal in the 18th century, and it became a part of colonial Assam in 1826. Dialects Barendranath Dutta identifies three main dialects. One he classifies as Eastern Golpuriya, with two sub-varieties, the lects around Abhayapuri and Golpara towns forming one, and the lects around Krishne, Dudne and Dupdara forming the other. Locally, the speeches in this region are individually given names, Habragatiya, Bausia, Namdaniya and Barahajari. Under Western Golpuriya, Dutta discusses two separate dialects, the lects around Gorapur locally called Gulia, and the lects around Salkocha locally called Jarua. Dutta considers the Salkocha dialect as the intermediate dialect. <laughs> <laughs> Background and controversies the Golpuriya dialects have been subject of much controversy, primarily because they fall on a dialect continuum. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, there was a debate on whether they were dialects of Bengali or Assamese languages. The Irish linguist George Abraham Grierson claimed in his Linguistic Survey of India that the western and southern dialects were Rabanshi, and thus a northern Bengali dialect, and that the eastern dialect was Assamese. He did not find any linguistic uniformity between Ahom-dominated East Assam and the Golpara Kamrup region or with Bengal. Bengali linguist Suniti Kumar Chatterjee also followed this classification in his thesis, adding Western Golpuriya to the Northern Bengali dialects. The debate never died down and authors continue to critically examine the nation building aspects of this debate. Assamese scholars consider Golpuriya as a part of the Assamese dialects, specifically, a Western Assamese dialect. The two erstwhile western districts of Assam, Kamrup and Golpara, possess several local dialects. The Golpuriya dialect is similar to the Rabanshi dialect which evolved under the Koch dynasty, and also similar to Bengali dialects spoken in northern Bengal. The differences between the eastern and western Assamese dialects are wide and range over the whole field of phonology, morphology and, not infrequently, vocabulary. Phonology Topic. The dialects of Golpara straddle the Assamese Bengali language divides and display features from both languages. Though the phonemes in the Eastern dialects approach those of Assamese, the Western dialect approach those of Bengali. The distinctive velar fricative, x, present in Assamese is present in the Eastern dialect, but absent in the Western dialect. The dental and alveolar distinction in Bengali are found in the Western dialect, but merged into alveolars in the Eastern dialect in consonance with Assamese. 
Further the aspirated per chain, is present in Bengali as well as the Western dialect, but absent in Eastern Golperia dialect and Assamese. Grammar Gender the nouns in Golpuriya language takes i or ni as suffix to indicate feminine gender. If the noun ends in a vowel, it replaces the vowel with i, if in consonant it suffixes ni as feminine marker. For example, Verbs <inaudible> 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 Verb, kha to eat. Topic. Simple present tense. Topic. Topic. Folk community and culture. Topic. The people who speak this dialect, call themselves Deshi, a dominant section, leaving out the Bodos, Rabas, Mechs, Chattals and other communities of the region. They call their dialect as Deshi Basa. A section of these people are known as Rabangshi, which means men of royal descent who are Koch in origin. To trace the intermingling nature of this dialect, one can look its words. For example, the word Kecha, meaning story, could have been derived from the Urdu word Kisa and transformed itself into the Golpuriya dialect. The Urdu influence may be traced to the Mughal general, Mir Jumla, who, during his invasion of Assam, had pitched his military camp at Panbari in Dubri district, probably due to the Panbari mosque which was used by Muslim soldiers. Indeed, a section of the Mughals had settled in the district and the process of acculturation followed. There are many other Arabic, Persian and Urdu words in use in the Golpuriya dialect such as Roshan, Haram, Nasta, Chacha, Chachi, Babi, Nana and Nani. These are particularly used by the Muslim community who makes the major portion of population in the region. Geophysical condition There are some variations in the dialect as one move from one place to another which is not surprising as when there is a physical separation in terms of distance. According to Barendra Nath Dutta, the former president of the ASOM Sahitya Sabha, the old district can roughly be divided into two zones, the eastern and the western, on the basis of variation in their dialects. The eastern zone is contiguous to the district of Kamrup and the western zone is closer to North Bengal. Thus, Mwa Ahilo in Assamese becomes Moyahiling in the eastern zone and Moyasalong in the western zone. Moyahiling resembles the dialect of Kamrup district and differs a little from that of the west zone. As the eastern zone is close to Kamrup district, it could not keep itself aloof from the latter's influence. In this context, the following examples will serve to show that the dialect of these zones have many points in common with that of Kamrup. Eastern Kamrup, 1. API Hila Garar Para Ola 2. Bhalamta Kaikal Western Kamrup, 1. API Hila Garar Para Ola 2. Bhalatmu Kai Kalak the western zone on the other hand, being contiguous to North Bengal, could not remain unaffected from the Bengali influence. For example, Bengali words such as matha head, paki birds, and Assamese words such as duar door, chuli hair, bihan morning, which were used in early Assamese, are used by the people of Golpara. There are some peculiarities in the dialect of Golpara. For example, uyak isa kaib he has to come, mak a kamta or kajta kara kai I have to do this work. Again, sometimes L becomes N in Western dialect, such as Lage becomes Naj and Lal becomes Nal, red, infusing another difference in the dialect. In the Golpuriya dialect, expressions such as pet pita rotten, tiktika deep are very common. It is worth noting that the mightily word angcha garment, and Hindi words such as kawari door and damad bridegroom have directly entered into the Golpuriya dialect and are still found in the same form and carrying the same meaning. References Bibliography 